Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. Sorry, I, I paused there for a second. It was like really, really weird. The the screen blacked out, and I um, I don't know. I wanted to make like a like a thing, like a like like make it lo look like I was fading in, you know. But like I I didn't want to edit the video because I'm I'm a lazy cunt. Um, uh, anyways, I. <laughs> I wanted to make a series basically reviewing, um, at the very least, I'm not going to say all the monsters in the game because there's a lot of monsters in the game, but basically all the monsters that I'm using currently, and I just want to review and just give you guys some of my thoughts on them, because this is just my experience, because I, I've i actually been using these monsters, you know, to do, to do various tasks and stuff, and as you might have seen from my previous video, I might be pretty good at theory crafting, you know, I just, I just, uh, plan some things, put it together, and some Sometimes it works works out beautifully, and sometimes it, it just it flops. But then you adjust and you try again. I think I'm getting sidetracked. Um, okay, so I probably should start with something that everybody has. Um, I mean, they give gave us this this one this one. They gave us the elder for free as well. Um, they also gave us this guy for free. Alright, I'm gonna start with the Elder. Everybody has the Elder, alright? The Elder is the first monster that everybody gets in the game. And I use him. He's one of my main monsters. He's a monster I use in my main team. He is surprisingly a natural one star. Um, I actually didn't didn't know this until I like was leveling my alt account. Um, I didn't know that he was a one star. I didn't remember that he was one star. I always thought that he was a natural two star. But when you first get him, you actually just raise him to two stars. So he's actually a natural one star monster. Um, and the really, really cool thing about this game is monsters, the, like, the, the star rank, it doesn't determine how strong a monster is. Like, it, it has nothing to do with the monster's overall strength. Um, certain one-star monsters can be raised to three stars, and when they're at three stars, they basically have the same, like, level of stats as a three-star monster. So, you know, there's, there's no real difference to, um, to the, to, to the star rank. It's just that... Um, they made certain three-star monsters rarer to obtain because you can't, you can't like for example like these monsters and something like this. Like I don't think she's, yeah, she's only summonable. You know, like something like the Ice Queen, for example. Um, you have to get pieces for her four times in order to get her. So it takes some RNG for you to get some of these rarer monsters. But a lot of the monsters in the game are farmable, and um, a lot of these farmable monsters are just as strong as any of the natural three-star monsters. So, you know, don't 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 be too confused if you're, you know, just using one stars and stuff. It really has to do with their skill sets and how they can um, they can help and influence your team. One thing I did notice is that most one star and two star monsters don't really have skills that can. Oh, actually, no, no. I think one star monsters. A lot of the one star monsters or certain two star monsters. A lot of them don't have skills that can really benefit your team. Um, I think in this game, like skills that that benefit your team are definitely a, a little bit stronger. But then that's not limited to just one star or two star monsters. Some of the three star monsters don't really have skills that benefit their teams either. But certain, you know, it's just it's just like certain monsters are stronger. And in in any game that has um, a lot of units, certain units are definitely going to be stronger. Um, Okay, I think I got way, way, way sidetracked. So I'm going to be doing a review of the Elder, um, who I use a lot, and he's he's one of my one of my best monsters, I would say. Although he's one of the first monsters I've I've ever gotten. Um, he's a very, very straightforward monster. He's basically just a nuker. He's an AOE nuker that has um, well, that has nukes. So he just does basic attacks. And when he when he gets his skill gauge um, skill gauge up to full, he does a nuke that hits three enemies, called called lightning, and it hits um, it hits for 321% of his magic damage. You can actually calculate the amount of damage it would do if you just look at your magic damage and then you calculate the percentage. You can kind of see how much a uh, an attack would do. Um, Keep in mind this is like to three targets, so it's not a single target spell, it's an AoE nuke that usually hits um, you know, most of the units in, on, on the map. Like By the time you have this, you either have killed their tank or something like that, or maybe you, in, in PvP maybe you wouldn't have killed their tank, but most of the time like this would be hitting, like it would continuously nuke their backline, and I think he would work really really well in a new comp where like if you're running like an Ashley for example, a lot of times in the arena you, you might have noticed like the Ashleys, um, they, they do a lot of like AoE nukes and if you pair them up with other AoE nukers, 
um, they can actually kill your backline really, really fast, like right after your tank falls. So he's definitely really, really strong in that. He's really, really strong in cleaning up. Um, but at the same time, his his nuke is an AOE nuke. So obviously, in terms of just straight out killing the tank, he might be outclassed by other, you know, just single target magic nukers. Um, his second skill is a single target skill. It does have a 10 second cooldown. It doesn't do the most damage, but it's not it's not exactly his active skill. It's just a passive skill that he uses on the side. It basically just hits one en one enemy, and it does 319 percent. Well, so far, because at level 34, it does 319 percent of his magic damage. Um, yeah, this is also really straightforward. His third skill is a passive skill that helps himself. Basically, he increases his own magic damage by 14% um, at, at level 34. Obviously, it's going to be higher at, at higher up. And I think he's pretty straightforward. He's just he's basically just a nuker. And I actually use him in, in quite a lot of um, scenarios, I think. Like, if you guys want to see want to see me, just want to see him in action. I Oh my god, I lost every single fight. He's probably not too strong in the meta in PvP right now. Like this, this shit, this thingy is so fucking broken in PvP right now. Um, because of how many like most most people are actually magic based, so she she basically counters a lot of the magic based nukes. And my main team is also magic based. My my physical team isn't all that strong yet, so there's not a lot of things I can do against um against against her. I think she's called like Adele hide or something I, I I just can't deal with her at all basically um, but in a lot of a lot of other comps where you're fighting like you know just regular tanks or like physical based tanks your ash he's she um, your your elder is going to be doing a lot of damage um, to to their tank and also to their backline let's actually let's find a guy that's like you know maybe rank 200 or something like that Alright, so this guy's using a Succubus 4 star, Death Knight 4 star. Hmm, this is gonna be hard to deal with. Actually, I could beat him. Alright, I'm gonna put in my new comp. This is my standard um, magic comp. And then I only have a tank that's for physical damage. So I guess it kinda counters them because they're. They're. Uh, actually, no, they're, they're two magic damage as well. But. You know, I just wanted to—I just wanted to do a little bit of showcase. You might have seen my elder in action before if you've watched any of my daily videos. But he—he does—he does, um, does new quite a lot. Just—just just pay more attention to the elder this time, all right? He does—he does do quite quite well. Um, all right, so he's going to get a full bar very very soon. So he's going to be able to use his call lightning, and it, it did, did actually zap his knight. Um, holy shit, dude! His tank is so strong. I think I fucked up. Oh, wait, wait, I might be able to do this. Do I need my elder to, like, charge up and survive? It's like one more call lightning. I swear to God, I, I will win. Okay, rip. I'm sad. Yeah, I can't win in PvP. I'm so sad. I'm such a scrub. This is so unfair. My, my life is unfair. Uh, <laughs> you guys just watched me get wrecked. Alright, I, I think I lost all credibility right there. Um, I'm pretty much I'm pretty much fucked now. But anyways, that's that's <laughs> what a way to end the video, right? It should have been I won this. I sh he should have won it in some clutch way where he does like a call lightning as his last finishing move, and then doesn't like some AOE nuke and just completely just obliterates them. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. So so rip. Um, but yeah, he's definitely a good monster. Like, I don't think he's he's a bad monster. Definitely, there are better monsters, like monsters that have certain utility skills that help your entire team. But I think I think early on, as just a straight out nuker, he definitely does his job very very well. Like, he's he's not a support type monster. He basically he everything he does is for himself. So yeah, that's pretty much it, and that's the end of the video. I'm definitely going to be doing reviews for pretty much every single monster that I own um, going down the list and I can get, kind of showcase where where they might be strong or, or where they might be weak. Um, probably don't show, it, show PvP because I'm so fucking bad at PvP in this game. I just, I can't. I do so badly. I get, I get wrecked. I got wrecked three days in a row. 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, hopefully I don't drop drop out of 500 rank because I won't be able to get my um, my stuff then. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.